Okay, the next step is to attach the sew-in stabilizer to your lining fabric. You want to sew it to the wrong side of your fabric. And you can make sure you have it the right way if you match up the dots with the dots on the interfacing. What we're going to do is we're going to take it over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew from this dot to this dot and from this dot to this dot just to attach it. Okay, so we're going to sew from dot to dot and it looks like it is about half an inch. Anyway. Make sure you keep those edges straight and lined up. You're going to want to back stitch at the beginning. And then back stitch again at the end. There, so you can see we sewed from dot to dot. Now we're going to flip it around and do the same thing on the other side. And then once again, we're going to sew from dot to dot. outside edges together from top to bottom like we did on our outer fabric. So you want to put right sides together like this. Line up your edges. Fasten it with a couple of clips or pins. So a half inch seam from here to here, and from here to here. Back stitch at the beginning. side. Now I noticed that my lining fabric is sticking out a little bit past the interfacing. So I'm just going to give it a little trim.
Okay, so just like we did for our outer fabric, we need to make the box corners for the lining. So, careful not to cut your stitches. And trim the corner down. Like so. Now I'm going to go over to the ironing board and press this seam open. Okay, I have my seams pressed open. So once again, we're going to push this down into a triangle with the tip being right here. Going to take our ruler and you need to measure two inches across exactly. And the same thing on the other side. Two inches across. I'm going to go over the sewing machine and sew right along the outside edge of my mark. Okay, so I'm going to sew around the, sew across the outside of this mark, back stitching at the beginning and the end, or the beginning and the end. So I sewed this corner from here to here, and now I'm going to sew across this one, corner from here to here. Like we did before, we want a one eighth inch inseam on both corners. Okay, now once again, I'm going to take this over to my ironing board and press it to get rid of these fold lines. 